NVIDIA announced that GeForce Now, their cloud game streaming service, is coming to Vision Pro directly. And I want to give it a shot, see if I can get it working. And I made it pretty far in the process with a couple little issues. So I want to get into the details here with you guys, show you what I figured out. Maybe ask the community if they have any ideas for some small little bugs here and there. But let's get right into it. First off, this is what it looks like when you go to GeForce Now. And it says set up to play. Tap the share button and then swipe, add to home screen, etc. And as we look here, I didn't see anything about adding it to the home screen. I was reading online that people were saying it's kind of slowly rolling out. But a workaround is to download an app called web apps and this is just a small little uh utility that allows you to add to web apps and so i've already done that so now i'm going to go ahead and open web apps and here i just have a little bookmark geforce now and here it is let's get this out of the way and i've got my account over here and now we can go ahead and play controller or keyboard and mouse with Vision Pro. So first off, with the keyboard and mouse, I have it connected via Bluetooth. I'm really loving this keyboard, by the way. It's the RK Royal Kludge S98, you can see right there. I'll have a link in the bio for all this stuff. And you can actually switch your Bluetooth link. So this is from my MacBook. Number two is for the uh, Vision Pro. And we can see here, as I search Amazon, there you go, works perfectly. With the mouse, I'm using this one. And this also has a little button here. So I'm on number two for Vision Pro. Number one would be the computer. And now as I move the mouse, you can see it works right there. And if I click something, bam, portal, there we go. So let's get into it and see how well this works. I'm gonna try Counter-Strike. And while that's connecting, I'll also mention I do have my PS5 controller linked. That's just linked via Bluetooth, super easy to set up. You hold the power button and share button for about 10 seconds to go into pairing mode and you can just link it like any Bluetooth device. So right now I can go ahead and click let's go or I can just go ahead and look and pinch. So both inputs will kind of work like that. And all right, we're still loading. And while this is loading, I'll also mention I'm running on uh, 5G fiber Wi-Fi. Uh, let's do a quick speed test so you can see what I'm running with. All right, so that's what I'm working with on the speed test over here. Let's get this out of the way. Now we're in. We've got Counter-Strike working. Now into a couple little bugs here and there we can see that the mouse is working. But if I click, the clicking does not seem to work. And I was reading on some forums that that might be a bug with how Vision Pro handles inputs from third-party devices, not too sure. But I can go ahead and just click play. Go. And we're searching for a match right now. In other games, I've had some mixed results trying to use the gamepad. I'm getting kind of like mixed uh, inputs here, but let's see how this looks at least. We're gonna, again, I just can't click here, but I'll go ahead and do auto select. And now we are playing Counter-Strike. And the mouse though just doesn't work. So pretty much it's useless for me right now. I'll show you a quick little input lag here. You can see it's a bit stuttery. Not too sure what the issue might be here. So I'm, I'm hoping this is kind of maybe an issue with this utility I'm using, the web apps utility, or I might need to figure out some new things with the Wi-Fi or how my inputs are set up. Fire, mouse one, it even says it right there. So with mouse one set for the settings, I think it might be more of a bug or something because otherwise it looks like it should be working. The fact that it wouldn't even recognize my mouse, that's not too great. Uh, so that's kind of the first big issue there. Otherwise, graphics seem to look good. Things generally are fine, except for some of these bugs. We're gonna quit this. And let's just try one more game. This one I was trying to run with the gamepad, and we'll see how this works. All right, so here we have press any key, and I actually just moved this joystick and that worked. If I hit continue, that actually works. So far, so good. 
Now, as I try to move with my gamepad here, moving, <laughs> I keep getting this UI showing up and this just, it kind of works, but not really, and it's just super laggy. Let me actually make this a little bit smaller. So you can see it's just not playable, even though I'm using the gamepad, even though it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So that is unfortunate. And if I try really fast to move over here, I can use the keyboard, but using the mouse to move around just doesn't work. So I'm gonna stop it right there. That at least gives you a little bit of a view of what's going on with NVIDIA GeForce now. For me, uh, I'm hoping others are having better luck with this at the moment, but if you guys have any ideas, very curious if anybody's had more luck with this and uh, I'm excited to do a few more videos once I get this uh, more figured out. But for now, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.